now question number 16 is uh, having a table and the table's heading is given on top it says simulated change in annual aquifer input and irrigation output if precipitation concentration increases as climate models predict so the baseline concentration of annual precipitation there are two things which they are seeing one is when if the precipitation is currently somewhat concentrated and the other is currently evenly distributed what is the percentage change in water entering aquifers it is 4.9 for the somewhat concentration somewhat concentrated 11 percent for the evenly distributed and then percentage change in surface water used for irrigation 0.4 percent for somewhat concentrated but 9 percent for evenly distributed then percentage change in ground water used for irrigation 0.9 percent for somewhat concentrated and 7.9 percent for evenly distributed some climate models for the western united states predict that while total annual precipitation may remain unchanged from the present level precipitation will become concentrated into fewer but more intense rain and snow events university of texas climate scientist Geeta Prasad and her colleagues simulated how the amount of water entering aquifers and the amount being used for irrigation purposes would change if this were to occur. So what will be the change if the between will become concentrated into fewer and more intense rain and snow events? What will happen if that happens? That is what they are trying to find. Prasad and her colleagues concluded that concentration of precipitation into fewer events would result in higher number of dry days. So if there is concentration of precipitation into fewer events, that is if rain and snow happens only for fewer days in the year, that means there will be more number of dry days which will trigger more irrigation. But that this change in irrigation output is highly sensitive to the baseline concentration of precipitation that currently exists in an area. So now which choice best describes data from the table that support Prasad and her colleagues conclusion. So they have made this conclusion, but we have to find the best choice from the data to support their conclusion. Would it be A, if baseline precipitation is somewhat concentrated, the amount of water being used for irrigation will increase 0.4% for surface water and 0.9% for groundwater, whereas the amount of water entering aquifers will increase 11% if baseline precipitation is evenly distributed. B. If baseline precipitation is somewhat concentrated, water used for irrigation will increase only slightly whereas it will increase 9% for surface water and 7.9% for groundwater if baseline precipitation is evenly distributed. C. If baseline precipitation is somewhat concentrated, the amount of water entering aquifers will increase 4.9% while the amount being used for irrigation will increase 0.4% for surface water and 0.9% for groundwater. And D, if baseline precipitation is somewhat concentrated, water used for irrigation will decline by a small amount, whereas it will increase 11% for surface water and 9% for groundwater if baseline precipitation is evenly distributed. So a lot of data has been taken and various answer choices have been uh, given over here, but which is the one which will support what they want? That is. Uh, Parsad and her colleagues conclusion what is their conclusion concentration of precipitation into fewer events will result in higher number of dry days and if that is triggered in, and if that happens it triggers more irrigation and this change is highly sensitive to the baseline concentration of precipitation that already exists in that area we need for only for this part so for that reason we have to choose answer choice b b is the best answer because it describes data from the table that support Prasad and her colleagues conclusion. So the text explains that according to some climate models precipitation in the uh, western United States will become concentrated into fewer more intense rain and snow events. The text explains that according to some climate models precipitation in the western United States will become concentrated into fewer more intense rain and snow events. So instead of having even distribution of rain and snow it will become intense and few. Uh, you know events of rain and snow that is precipitation according to the text Prasad and her colleagues concluded that more irrigation will consequently be needed so if that happens more irrigation will happen will be needed 
so but that change in irrigation output will be highly sensitive to or greatly affected by the baseline concentration of precipitation in the area this conclusion is supported uh, by the data from the researchers simulation so what the researchers have done they have simulated uh, changes in annual irrigation output in two different scenarios one in which the area's annual precipitation is already somewhat concentrated and one in which the annual uh precipitation is evenly distributed so the table shows that if baseline precipitation is somewhat concentrated the water use for irrigation will increase only slightly somewhat concentrated uh irrigation if you see uh, 0.4% and 0.9% but if baseline precipitation is evenly distributed water use for irrigation will increase much more 9% for surface water and 7.9% for ground water This difference illustrates the researchers conclusion that the amount of additional water needed for irrigation will vary greatly depending on how concentrated or spread out the annual precipitation in an a- in an area already has. This difference illustrates the researchers conclusion that the amount of additional water needed for irrigation will vary greatly depending on how concentrated or spread out the annual precipitation in an area already is. And so why is A incorrect? A is incorrect because it compares changes in the amount of water being used for irrigation to changes in the amount of water entering aquifers. So this is talking about irrigation and water entering aquifers. Uh, Prasad and her colleagues' conclusion doesn't focus on changes uh, to the amount of water entering aquifers. Rather, the researchers' conclusion focuses on changes to irrigation output relative to how concentrated or spread out the annual precipitation in the area is. And so, why is C incorrect? C is incorrect because it supports only part of Prasad and her colleagues' conclusion. According to the text, the researchers concluded that the concentration of precipitation into fewer events will trigger more irrigation, but that this change in irrigation output will be highly sensitive to an area's baseline concentration of annual precipitation. But in this, uh, the data in this choice support the idea that more irrigation will be needed. more irrigation will be needed but to support the rest of the researchers conclusion additional data from the table are required to show that the increases in water use for irrigation will vary depending on how concentrated or spread out the annual precipitation in an area already is this is not showing the complete data what is needed and d is incorrect because data in the table indicate no declines in water use for irrigation showing only increases in the form of positive values so is in a decline by a small amount so we are not Uh, there is no decline this is incorrect because data in the table indicates no decline in water use for irrigation only increases are there and the positive values are there